So before we start this video, Courtney and I have a little bit of an announcement, which is, well actually, I'm gonna announce it to Courtney first. It turns out that the flavor that we reviewed is no longer available. It was part of a small batch run, but don't let that keep you from watching this review video. Make sure to stick around to the end for some good news, including a giveaway. That's right. Hey there, it's Steve. And Courtney. From Serious Keto. And in this video, what are we gonna review? Key lime pie cookie bites. From Chipmunk Baking. Yes. Now, I'm trying to remember who I reviewed. I've done a few Chipmunk reviews. I know I did one with Jaden where we did the cookies, the, the big cookies initially, when you were off at school, I think. Um, have you had any of the Chipmunk stuff? Yeah, I've had the little cookies. Okay, so that's what these are. These are the, yeah. the, the little bites. And this is one of their newest flavors. They're working on some interesting new flavors. I can't tell you what they are, but we may be seeing some savory bites, which is what I'm looking forward to because I'm not into sweets so much. Also, while you were gone, I had a conversation with David at Chipmunk Baking, and I mentioned this in our Welcome Back Courtney video. I may start working on a cookie for them or some sort of a bite. They, they actually sent me their whole cookbook for all of their cookies. I had to sign, oh. a, yeah, I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Plus the recipes are for massive, massive batches. So oh. I'd have to really, really scale them down. But uh, so some of the special ingredients that they have, they sent me as well. Oh, so that's, that's cool. yeah, that's something we could work on maybe before you head back to school. Cool. But for now, we're gonna try out these bites right here. In terms of ingredients, what do you see? Anything sketchy? No one flower, I love. Yeah, no. the great thing about Chipmunk is the ingredients are just very, very clean. Yeah. Uh, their sweetener, they use allulose and monk fruit. Yeah. So you don't get that erythritol cooling effect. We've got nine total grams of carbs per cookie. Is that correct? Serving size is one, yeah. one bite. So nine total carbs per bite. So if you're counting total carbs, yeah, this is probably not for you. Then we've got dietary fiber, two grams. The thing is with the, with the way they label products now in the U.S., you need to count allulose as total carbs, even though they have no impact on your blood sugar. So really in terms of net carbs, one gram per cookie. Those are kind Those of are big. Those are good size. Yeah, for a, that's... I wouldn't call that a bite. I would call that two bites. That's a scoop of cookie dough. Like yeah. if you're making a good cookie. Yeah. Like if you flatten this out, this would be a full size cookie. Yes. So yeah. don't let the name confuse you. This is more than a bite. There's wow. white chocolate chips in them too. Oh, wow. To be noted. Yes. Noted. It reminds me of a white chocolate macadamia cookie, but with lime. Yeah, the lime is at the end. I kept sort of waiting. I thought I was going to get hit with a little bit more lime mm -hmm. than I did with this. So one of the things that I love about the chipmunk baking cookies is how moist they are. They're not, yeah. they're not like overly moist. They're not, you know, sometimes you get keto product and they just throw so much MCT oil in it that they're greasy. That's not the case with these. These are just moist. Yeah, they are. They are. And you don't get any of that. They don't break apart. Nope. There's no crumbs. They're, they're sturdy. They're chewy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they definitely have the, the texture down. I don't know if I like a lime cookie. You, I don't know if that's my favorite type of thing, but. Yeah, I would almost like to see a little bit more lime. It's, it would be cool if they could do some sort of um, like lime zest in mm -hmm. it, or, you know, I don't know in terms of preservatives and things like that, you know, if you'd need to do some sort of, you know, kind of like cured limes and then dehydrate them or something. But I almost think like if this had a little bit more saltiness to it and a little bit more lime. Yeah, a little salt. But on the whole, since I'm not really big into sweets, this this to me is right where I like the sweetness level. It's, yeah, it's not too sugary. I, I, could, I could eat one, be satisfied, not feel that I need to rip through an entire bag. Mm -hmm. That last bite for me was actually the one that had the most lime in it. I don't know if there was just a 
lime dispersion thing. And it was maybe in your mouth already, yeah. Could be, or maybe it just builds on itself. I, yeah, I def I taste the lime in my mouth a lot right now. Yeah, so I like these. I could I could easily recommend these. But, you know, I think I can say that about almost everything I've had from Chipmunk Baking. I don't know that I've... There's been no cookie that I can recall disliking. It's just been various levels of like. Mm. So, if you haven't tried Chipmunk, I encourage you to try it. They are some great cookies if you want a snack. Like I said, a single one. Very satisfying. Mm. And I will include a link down below in the description to Chipmunk Baking along with a coupon code for, I think it's 10 or 15% off. I don't recall off the top of my head, but I will put that down in the description below. I think that's it for this video. All right, that was quick. Yeah, it was. So as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, we were not aware when we tried out this particular flavor that Chipmunk Baking now is doing this thing. It's these small batch runs that they do every month. So every month, if you purchase from them, if you're one of their customers, you'll probably get an email that lists four different flavors and people get to choose which flavor they vote on it. And then Chipmunk for the next month will do a small batch run, like 200 bags or something like that. So it's really kind of cool. People get to vote and then they get to buy special little runs of cookies. Mm -hmm. But good news is we've partnered with Chipmunk Baking and we're going to be giving away three bags of these cookies to you guys. Here's what you need to do to enter. First off, you do need to be in the United States or a U.S. territory. That's step number one. So you don't really have to do any work there. Just keep doing what you're doing. You also need to follow Chipmunk Baking on Instagram. That is how we will notify the winner. The final thing you need to do is make a comment on this video. Any comment is fine. I will then randomly pick three of you. I will find out your Instagram IDs. I will let Chipmunk know, and they will send you a bag of the Key Lime Pie cookies. In the meanwhile, I will include a link down below with information on the, uh, the whole, I don't know what you call it, cookie club? Hmm, I guess. Monthly cookie club. I will tell you that they've got some really interesting flavors. Uh, they did a shamrock shake. They did a bacon maple pecan. They did a pizza flavor. And I know that for July, their flavor is going to be a garlic parmesan hmm. cookie. So not really a cookie, more of a savory bite. So kind of cool. Check it out. Link below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.